development ahead of Saturday's election, an independent civil society election observation body, Transition Monitoring Group, TMG, has called for the creation of mobile courts to prosecute electoral offenders in the country. TMG's chairperson, Dr. Abiola Akiode Afolabi, made the call on Friday at a press conference in Benin City, the Edo State Capital. Addressing reporters barely 24 hours to the governorship election in the state, she explained that such courts would help reduce the incidences of violence, vote buying and other forms of electoral malpractice. To bring us up to speed on the latest ahead of tomorrow's elections, we have joining us Plus TV Africa's senior correspondent, Amadine Uyi. Amadine, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Felicity. Uh, you, you are in the eye of the storm, so to speak. What have you seen so far? How prepared is INEC? Okay, we visited the INEC office to ascertain how prepared they are for tomorrow's poll. Uh, we, we spoke to the, the head of the voter education and um, publicity unit, uh, Timothy Wariway, who says that INEC is prepared. In fact, he confirmed that later this evening they'll be having the final briefing for each staff, for, for each staff uh, across uh, the different local governments. We spoke to the head of the voter education and publicity unit, Timidi Wadiwe, who says there will be a final briefing later today for each staff. He says most of the essential staff are already at the local government and the work levels they'll be performing one or two tasks. He says, the, just like you read earlier, that the essential material for tomorrow's elections have already been deployed across the local government areas in Edo State. Uh, looking at, I mean, from where I'm sitting, the streets looks a bit deserted. What is the feeling like? What is the mood like in Benin City right now? Now, uh, the, you can you can always you can almost feel an excitement about the polls in the atmosphere. You, uh, most people we have spoken with on and off camera said that they are ready for the polls. Remember that the two candidates were the two candidates that uh, that uh, that fight uh, for the post of governorship in the last election in 2016. They are still the, three, the two major candidates, but this time they are frustrated to the two different political parties. And uh, from what I can see, many uh, residents of the state say they will come out and vote uh, that uh, the election, they are very interested in the election. You know, in the, in the last few days, there were rhetorics of hate speech and others. But after the uh, offer of Benin, Omonova Nego, uh, of uh, Eware, the second account, uh, there's been a sort of calm. And many of them say they want to go out and cast their votes. Okay, have they, have, they, uh, have they expressed any concern when it comes to security? In spite of the other's intervention, we do know that there are, um, the IGP has uh, sent um, a lot of police officers down there. We also know that there is a peace accord, that there will not be any disruption of the violence. But what are the people you're seeing saying about uh, insecurity ahead of the polls? Yes, Felicity, we ask these questions to many of them. And you have to understand the nature of, of those things. The, 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 the royal thing here the, about Benin is one who is revered, not only in Benin, but at the different senatorial districts. And so many uh, residents spoke to us specifically that as long as the other who is known to be very apolitical, uh, he does not interfere in politics, as long as he had called the different candidates and asked for calm and made them to uh, pledge that there will be no violence. So many of the residents believe that that, is, uh, that has sort of uh, gone a long way to be able to assure many of them that the elections will be violent, violence free. All right. Um, I mean, let's keep our fingers crossed on a positive note that uh, we will not witness any violence. But there's been allegations about vote buying uh, going on ahead of the election. Have you seen any example, any instance where people uh, might have been involved in the act of uh, vote buying? We know uh, the 
People's Democratic Party a few days ago had raised an alarm calling on security agencies to ensure that there will be no movement of cash during the election. But so far, uh, we have not, uh, is the two, the two major political parties, the APC and the PDP, have been throwing brickbats at each other, accusing each other of vote buying. But uh, some from the civil society believe that uh, since the police have given assurances that there will, there will be a ban on uh, vehicular movement, only those who are accredited to move around will be allowed to move around. They, they have sort of put that trust that the police will live up to his responsibilities and ensure his word uh, is law. All right, Amadine, thank you very much for the update. Uh, we will be back with you uh, shortly. Uh, stay safe and um, be well. Thank you, Felicity.